everyone. This is Sharad Poonam time and it's Sharad Poonam wishing everybody beautiful energy movement, beautiful opportunity to change your perceptions, belief systems and levitate further, grow further, evolve further in your life. Sharad Poonam this time is going to be very, 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 very powerful. Usually, considering it as a yearly repetition of Sharad Purnima, it is usually a powerful full moon, but this time it's going to be terrific. Why? Tangible reasons, measurable reasons, uh, reasons or measurements which can be immediately seen, heard or felt at least. This time in India or let's say in Gujarat, the winter has sinked in and hence there is at least 10 to 12 degrees difference between the morning heat and the later night pleasantness or let's say the chills or the cold winds or weather at night. So there is a difference of let's say 10 to 12 degrees. This is a measurable and a considerable difference. So the first thing is that the winter has already started. The temperature has already started shifting and it's shifting considerably very fast. Second tangible point, the winds, the winds have changed. The wind is now cooler compared to the usual hot or usual moist winds which were there just like say 20 days or 30 days back. Another point is the water element as always. Yes, water element because the wind and the temperature has changed drastically and immediately, the water element will also have its own effect which is always there in all the full moons and now it's going to amplify. So now what do you do? Simply express, expand and explore everything which life can give you as an experience. If you don't explore life, you won't be able to expand yourself and if you won't be able to expand yourself, you won't be able to express yourself. Exploring life, expanding life and expressing life is very important for each living form, each living organism to come to its own core truth. Someone who is not exploring, not expanding, nor even expressing themselves, they will never know the reality of life because then without expressing, expanding and exploring, there is no point possible when one can experience that there is a change of perception, that there is a change of belief system, that there is a change of attitude, there is a change of approach required in a certain subject or on certain topics. With this full moon, I would suggest do simple meditation, don't complicate it, but with meditation, create self-observation, develop self-observation. Observe yourself, express yourself, explore yourself, explore life around you, explore people around you, expand your visibility, expand your spectrum of understanding of how life is moving. Expand yourself as an individual. Explore each and every possibility you have in your life which will help you become better. Express everything which you think, which you feel, which you experience Express it in its totality. Be in it, observe it, observe it while you are expressing, observe it while you are expanding, observe it while you are exploring it. When you observe, when you try to note, when you are able to self-reflect, you will be able to know what is more real in your life. You will be able to pinpoint factual things, you will be able to pinpoint your own reality. I suggest and I wish and it's an unasked advice, make the best of this full moon. This can change your life. Enjoy. Peace.